Introduction The blanket of air surrounding earth is known as atmosphere. Without air, earth would have been a lifeless planet. It not only supplies air and water to plants and animals, but also protects them from the harmful rays of sun. The atmosphere stretches above the earth to a height of more than a thousand kilometers. It is held in place by the earth's force of gravity. Gravitational forces are stronger near the surface of earth and therefore the density of air is greater near the surface of earth. As we go higher, the air starts thinning. Ultimately, it merges with space. Composition of the atmosphere Air is a mixture of several gases in different proportions. The composition is as follows. Nitrogen 78%, Oxygen 21%, Other gases 1%. Some dust particles are also present in the atmosphere. Nitrogen, the most abundant gas, is useful for the survival of plants. Atmospheric nitrogen is converted to nitrogen compounds by nitrogen-fixing bacteria present in soil. Plants absorb nitrogen compounds and convert them to proteins. Animals take in proteins by eating plants or other animals. Nitrogen returns to the atmosphere when denitrifying bacteria act on animal wastes and the dead bodies of plants and animals. Oxygen ranks as the second most plentiful gas in the atmosphere. It is essential for the survival of plants and animals. Living beings need this oxygen to breathe and stay alive. Green plants produce oxygen during the process of photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide is used up by green plants for making food. So, the carbon dioxide used up during photosynthesis is replaced by the carbon dioxide released in the respiration by organisms. Thus, nature has ways of maintaining a balance of gases in atmosphere. However, human activities are disturbing this balance by polluting the air. Fact: The tropopause and stratosphere were discovered by Leon de Serenic, Deport, a French scientist, who was the first person to launch hundreds of feather balloons from his observatory. Structure of the Atmosphere The atmosphere can be divided into four distinct layers. A. Troposphere B. Stratosphere C. Mesosphere D. Thermosphere Troposphere The lowest and the densest layer of the atmosphere is known as troposphere. About three-fourths of the mass of atmosphere is contained within this layer. This is the sphere in which changes related to weather conditions occur. It protects us from the heat of sun during the day and keeps the earth warm at night. The extent of this layer is about 18 kilometers above the equator but only 8 kilometers above the two poles. Most of the water vapor Dust particles and clouds are found in this layer. The upper limit of troposphere is called tropopause. Stratosphere It lies above troposphere and extends to about 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface. There is a gradual increase of temperature in this layer. This is the layer in which air travel is safest because there are no bumpy pockets of air. Therefore, aircrafts usually fly in this sphere. It also has a band of ozone gas which protects us from the sun's ultraviolet rays. It is called ozonosphere, which is quite warm due to absorption of these rays. The upper limit of this layer is called starts paused. Mesosphere it lies above the stratosphere and extends to about 80 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Here, the temperature decreases with height till it reaches minus 100 degrees Celsius. 
This layer has the lowest temperature in the atmosphere. It is the coldest layer of the atmosphere. The upper limit of this layer is called mesopause. Thermosphere Thermosphere lies beyond the mesosphere. In this layer, the temperature increases rapidly with the increase in height above the mean sea level. It is estimated that temperature at the upper limit of the thermosphere reaches up to more than 1500 degrees Celsius. The air is very thin and holds little heat. One does not feel warm even at such a high temperature. The thermosphere protects us from meteors and obsolete satellites as the high temperatures can burn nearly all the debris coming towards the Earth. Thermosphere can be divided into two parts. The lower part is the ionosphere and the upper part is the exosphere. Ionosphere It lies above mesosphere and extends up to a height of about 400 kilometers above Earth's surface. It contains electrically charged particles called ions which help in transmitting communication signal. Radio waves are reflected back to the Earth from this layer. Communication satellites help in transmitting the signals back to Earth. The temperature rises rapidly with altitude in this layer. Near the North Pole, this phenomenon is known as Aurora Borealis and the Northern Lights and near the South Pole, this phenomenon is called Aurora Australis or the Southern Lights. Exosphere The outermost layer of the atmosphere is called exosphere. The air thins in this sphere until it ultimately merges into outer space. The temperature increases rapidly in this layer because of solar radiation. The temperature increases with increase in height and may reach up to 4500 degrees Celsius at its outer limit.